Okay, before we do anything else, comment below if you liked the thumbnail for this video. I decided to try something a little different than my typical thumbnails and I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? It's Carson and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be reacting to the music video for Psycho Freak by Camila Cabello and Willow. I normally don't do the same artist two videos in a row, but I asked if you guys wanted this video and a lot of you said yes. So I'm here to deliver on that. Uh, this video contains flashes of light that could trigger seizures for people with visual sensitivities. So if that is you, do what's best for your health. Oh, we don't fall. With all that said, let's jump into the reaction. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So first of all, let's just give a quick analysis. We see Camila in a mullet standing in what looks to be a reception room. And we get to see her from different angles, almost as if it's security cameras watching her. I like that so far, but I'm, I'm still trying to understand what this reception area is meant to represent. Is it meant to represent a psych ward? Is it meant to represent a doctor's office? Something I'm completely missing? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I the only one when I see anyone walking on the walls and climbing up around? I think of Zac Efron in High School Musical 3. Cue the clip! Whoa! Transition goals! Okay! That editing, whoever got that transition, Pat on the back to you. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just caught on to something. The music video, it, it's all taking place in this screen. But then there's like, there's that one clip, I'll, I will play it here where you can see it's just that one room and then black darkness. Kind of like how I do this with my editing. I, I'm so curious, how the fuck did they edit this? What the hell? <laughs> Wait a minute! No! No, 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 <laughs> Oh no, the never-ending room! <sighs> These things, whenever there's like a never-ending thing like that where you like open a door and you're back in the same space, I... I don't like that at all. That is a nightmare that I've had. <laughs> like, no, no thank you. Oh, a different set. Oh my God, yes. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> right at the part where she's like, I don't blame them for how it went down. It changes into like a look that looks kind of similar to her first music video. <laughs> What? Wait, 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 wait. No, stop. Stop it. <laughs> stop it, you demonic music video. <laughs> I have thoughts. <laughs> First of all, now that I'm getting a better look at their outfits, I want every outfit. <laughs> Secondly, what? <laughs> oh my god. I think I just came up with the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> also, can we just can we just highlight? There's that moment where Camila is like with the has the jacket open and her 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 boobs are like pixelated. Was that a call out to her nip slip? Cuz if it was, that's fucking genius. Camila has every right to take ownership of that moment back. And if you either looked for that image or you shared that image, you are a disgrace. And I mean that for any person who has a nip slip, a photo leak, anything like that. Don't do that shit. Imagine if that were you. Just imagine if that were you. How would that make you feel that the internet was sharing your body like that? Like, no, don't do that. But also we need to have a wider discussion about why it's so bad for women or AFAB individuals to show their chest when men can show their chest and be shirtless all the effing time. But there are many different people I know who do this and they are males or AMAB individuals who just walk around shirtless like it's their favorite outfit on a Tuesday. And honestly, I'm so sick of it. Cause if I'm walking around in like a crop top situation, kind of like this shirt 
or a bra, they get all antsy about it. Like, why are you walking around like that? Why are you showing so much of your skin and your body? Na, 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 na. Like, bra, you're not even wearing a shirt. Double standards. <laughs> Stop them. <laughs> I could talk about this for hours, but I don't have the storage space on my camera to do that. So let's just jump back into the reaction. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! Damn! Wow. Love the aesthetic of the video. Love how they edited the video. How they got multiple Willows and Camillas in that small room. How they had them upside down and how they just knew when to cut certain scenes. I loved that so much. It's pretty clear at this point that Psycho Freak is about Camila's anxiety, and I think that the room that they spent most of the music video in truly represents what anxiety can feel like. It feels like you're trapped in one room and you can't get out. And I think after the last few years, um, that's something that a lot of people can relate to. I definitely feel it was meant to represent a waiting room in a psych ward, but I think it was also meant to be a symbol for anxiety as a whole. There wasn't much of a storyline to really sink my teeth into, but I can say for sure that there are elements in this music video and in the song that relate so closely to Camila's life that it almost feels like this video and song truly was a reclamation for her in terms of her narrative about how she viewed things at the time that she wrote the song. Since my album reaction video, I have gone through and listened to some interviews by Camila. I personally like to wait until after I listen to the album before I look into that stuff. That's just how I go about things. And Camila said that she wrote this song during a really tough time in her life. And I'm very sorry that she had to go through that. But it's wonderful to see how she has taken this moment to not only reclaim her story, but also reclaim her body, especially with that one scene with her chest open, but pixelated. She gets to decide what you see. And I think that is so empowering. So yeah, with all of that said, that's it for this reaction video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. If you want more from me, including my poetry, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All of those are at Carson Bodie. If you want to help support me here on YouTube, you can check out my Patreon linked in the description for extra content. I'm going to go ride my longboard now because it's actually kind of nice outside for once. And I will see you all with a brand new reaction video very soon. Bye!